Today for you guys I have the review on the Milani Make It Last Sunscreen Setting Spray SPF 30. This is a 2.02 fluid ounce makeup setting spray with SPF. It's Milani. Now Milani is really well known for their Make It Last setting sprays. They have a dewy, a matte, and I think just a regular one. I believe this one is supposed to be the regular judging by the um, container that it comes in. It looks like it's probably the regular one. They don't advertise as matte or dewy, so there you have it. I have five categories for my makeup setting spray, and they are SPF, ingredients, um, cost, performance, and packaging. So let's start with the SPF. This is a chemical sunscreen, and it is SPF 30. It is marketed as a makeup setting spray, so um, it's not marketed as a sunscreen. There you have that. Ingredients, I'm going to go ahead and list them here, um, both active and inactive, and then I'll also link them in the D bar down below so you guys can find tooth comb through those while you're watching and see if there's anything that does not agree with your skin okay cost so this bottle cost me $13.99 for 2.02 fluid ounces all right so that comes up to $6.92 per fluid ounce now I will say that anything that is marketed as a makeup setting spray tends to be higher in price but I don't necessarily see any different ingredients that really set it apart so there's that probably about reasonable for the makeup setting spray I will say two ounces doesn't really make it conducive for um, using it and feeling you know like you could just really you know give it a go and douse yourself in it it makes me think like oh let's be careful I don't want to run out okay you see you see where I'm coming with you feel me and you know I like to go big or go home so let's get into the performance I've had my makeup on for about two hours now and I have to say it's looking okay but it could use a little pick-me-up I have been using the Bare Republic mineral sunscreen SPF tinted blah -de blah blah I will link that down in the deep bar and um, it's been on there so now we are ready for the re application of SPF okay before I do the application I am gonna go ahead and give you guys an arm swatchy swatch and I have to say I did this for the tester and I'm already halfway through so just giving you guys like the heads up right about 30 seconds to a minute to just kind of dry okay so you guys can see here we have it nice and dry um, doesn't really necessarily look natural it looks more satin luminous to me um, however you guys if you guys have been following me I do have an SPF makeup setting spray playlist which I will link in the eye and down below for you guys to check out but you might be seeing a trend that there is not very many matte setting sprays with SPF in them and I think it's due to the nature of the sunscreens that are being put into the bottles. Let's put this on my face and see what it does for me, okay? Give it a good shake. Smells like Ed Hardy. It's not the Love and Luck one. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Do you know? It just smells so perfume, really bad perfume. Let's give it a go. Let me get this in here about six inches away and I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a real good douse. Okay, so that's been about 30 seconds or so, and I have to say, looking fairly luminous, satin, I would not say dewy yet, I wouldn't go that far in that direction, but definitely not mattifying, definitely not like natural looking at all, looking fairly satin, as with most of the setting sprays that I've watched, or I've tried on so far. They all look about this way. So. All right, that is it for the two hour check-in and in just a snap, you guys will see the four hour reapplication. Okay, we're back with the four hour check-in. Um, hair looking all sorts of nice and crazy. I'm here for it. Four hour check-in. So here's what it is. Uh, this eye makeup situation is not looking very favorable at all. I have some horrible creasing. Now I will say this, I've been using the concealer 
uh, the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Concealer. Um, it has SPF 30 in it, so it's kind of what I use around my eye area and underneath my eye. I, the other day when I did it, it didn't look this bad, so I'm not sure if it was the setting spray or not, but I have a feeling it had something to do with it. At any rate, let's go ahead and do this last little bit and see what it looks like after it reapplies. So here we go. Okay, there's a lot of alcohol in these makeup setting sprays as well as the other ones. That's just the nature of the beast. So make sure that you keep your eyes shut until you have felt that there's no more cooling sensation. That lets me know that the alcohol has evaporated so it won't sting your eyes. Here is the final look. I'm also going to insert another day's worth of pictures. Um, I think they are at the four hour check-in mark, but that's a day that I was at the pool. So you can kind of see how my makeup looked there. It was really minimal makeup. Like I just had some mascara, maybe some concealer and foundation and just, you know, just very, very minimal. I was going to the pool that day, so it wasn't a big deal for me. This is uh, performance wise. I think it functioned okay. Do I suggest it? Not necessarily for somebody who's really serious about SPF coverage, like myself. If you are just interested in it as a makeup setting spray, you'll be indoors most of the day. You don't really have to worry about hitting up quite a bit to reapply for your sunscreen. Then this might be an option for you. Also, with it being 2.02 .02 ounces, it's a great option for traveling with. Again, I got maybe my three to five days of makeup. I did not test this with uh, just my bare face. A, I knew that this was not going to be enough, and B, anytime that I have a marketed product as a mark as a setting spray, I only use it as a setting spray because that's it's in that's how it's formulated. So I feel like it needs to adhere to something. So I always just. I'm going to test it three to five days with makeup. They say that you can use it barefaced. I originally saw this product review on the Mexican Beauties channel, so I'll go ahead and link her down below. She does one for somebody with uh, caramel colored skin, and also she's also oily, I believe, and I'm pretty combo oily. So as far as would I go out in public like this, absolutely. <laughs> I feel like for a setting spray though, that it shouldn't have let the eyes looked, look like this. I feel like I could wear my Alba Botanica, which definitely makes me look, you know, greasy and dewy. And my eye makeup doesn't smudge, smear, or crease as much as this one. To wrap it up, I really think this would be a great travel um, makeup setting spray with SPF in it. Do I recommend it for everyday use? Not really, uh, at almost $7, a an ounce I think that there's some much cheaper options that are drugstore also I will go ahead and let you know that I had to order this off of Milani's website I wasn't able to find it in any of the stores in my area so as far as I know it's only available on the website right now okay lastly packaging this packaging does say on the very bottom here you probably can't see it but it does have the triangle um, for recyclable so you can recycle this container now this lid right here doesn't have the recyclable triangle on it so this has to be tossed and I believe this does as well some portions of it can be recycled others not so much so as far as that goes that kind of eh, it meets my expectations doesn't necessarily exceed my expectations let me know in the comments down below if you plan on picking this makeup setting spray up and trying it out all right, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Makeup Setting Spray with SPF in it. And I hope you'll choose to subscribe to my channel, ring it in that notification bell on your way out so you don't miss any of my videos. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.